Hi guys, welcome to Trends. This is Dayton. So good to have you here today. It's a raining day in Lagos. Yes, everywhere is wet. Try and keep yourself warm. All right. Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Yes. I mean, you can be warm. What are you thinking? Come on. There are other ways you can get yourself warm. I, I know what you're thinking. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, a cup of hot tea could make you warm. A battle bone more than that and a cross soup, you know, you will be warm. It's not what you're thinking. Come on, no, I'm not, no, not, not that at all. I mean, why is it that this part of the world, once it's rain, then you begin to say like, I don't understand it. People are to attach, you know, the season to a lot of things, especially when people get intimate. I don't know. Sometimes it can be, but then it shouldn't be all the time that once it's rained, then the next thing, ah, I want to, I don't get it. Hosty can be good when it rains. Okay, thank you for staying by with me today. As usual, can you subscribe and then like my videos? You would refuse to subscribe. What is happening? Eh, I should buy what to eh, subscribe. Kilo Shelly. No, so for me, Kilo D. No, tell me. Tell me, why have you not subscribed to this channel? Why? What is happening? Subscribe now. <laughs> subscribe. It takes you nothing to just, just, you know, subscribe, please. Okay, don't mind me. You're welcome. Today we'll be talking about um, some happenings around, you know. The first one we have here, there's a group of guys in Abuja. They said they want to ban Facebook. They are protesting. I don't know where that's spirit came from like seriously what is wrong with them i don't even know oh all wrong now uh -uh. what but for what what happened what i mean is there any special do you have any reason at all like you just come you know bring yourself yourself out and then you say you want to ban facebook in nigeria the way um minister of justice and all that they just out. i'm sure those guys if you want to look at this very well it's either they are paid to do what they are doing. I mean, we want to ban Facebook. You know, she fucking Facebook. She fool me. I shall never see. Be out. Okay, go back to Shelly. I want to say okay. Don't go to Shelly here. If they ban Facebook, eh? So when go to Shelly, go to the cool and job. Then you go back. Wrong. Shelly. Eh? What video? What was wrong? Okay. Let's get back and talk. Come on. Yeah, guys. We just submitted the petition to ban Facebook in Nigeria. And uh, we are just going to go outside now. We, we, uh, the, our letter, our petition has been acknowledged. I'm going to go outside now to broadcast and show you some of our people we are with. Guys, as you can see, we visited the Federal Ministry of Justice to report the activities of Facebook and uh, highlight the need for Facebook to be banned permanently in Nigeria. Okay? They should be banned. They can't be controlling speech and be telling us what to say and what not to say. They'll be deciding a voice that will be heard and one that wouldn't be heard. I don't even care if they strike my page down. They can go to hell. The country comes first before any, any gain from social media, as you can see. This is the Minister of Justice. We've just submitted the petition over there right now. And we are heading to the Ministry of Information. Okay? Enough of the nonsense, as you can see our placard. Ban Facebook in Nigeria. This is stop the censorship now. Mark Zuckerberg, no one elected you to any office in Nigeria. Hands off Nigeria. Facebook must be banned to save our society. A country can never bow to a corporation. Get that into your head, Mark. Stop Facebook before Facebook stops our democracy. Hands off our democracy now. Evil Facebook. Federal Republic of Nigeria, not Facebook Republic of Nigeria. My brother, wait, let me. Stop putting your thumbs on the scale of political conversation in our country. All right, guys, still talking about those guys that want to ban Facebook. I mean, some group of young men, few in number. Okay, I want to ban Facebook. I want to ban Facebook in Nigeria. If you don't want it in Nigeria, then don't work on I mean, it's not mandatory that everybody should call Facebook and use Facebook. 
you don't want it then you stop using it and guess what guys you say you don't want something and we are still using the same media to talk to i don't know you still posted your your stupidity on facebook that people should want to ban facebook in nigeria does it make any sense you are still using the same media that you say you don't want you know, should be banned you are still using it to broadcast your your stupidity it's somehow guys Okay, this next video is coming from one abalist. I don't know how abalist got to this level. I mean, what, how do we get here, really? Like, how should they be back? No, 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 An abalist. That abalist has been, you know, most times he used to talk like, like a prophecy. Man, son, got to my shit. I come my mouth over. I don't understand what this whole thing is all about. In this particular video, excuse me, this abalist was, somebody was like interviewing this abalist and they were talking about Yabo Ojo and the whole thing about the Bible Jesha stores. And this uh, man was really cursing Yabo Ojo like she's this and that. Um, she's, uh, she shouldn't be saying such words that she's selling her body, she's this. I, I don't even know. What the whole issue we are saying about she was fighting about child molestation, she might have taken it to the extreme, we you know, yeah, but she's still fighting a good cause. So, why would you just say an elderly person, a balagua, a valise for that matter, and you are cursing out that she will do this, she will die young, she will uh, for what? I just want to tell you so, because I don't understand how Babala would get to digital, digital level. Ah, uh -uh. oh, that one. Let's see this Babala one that is um, on digital. Uh, uh, Yabo Ojo has done a lot of things with men. He has slept with so many men. Yes, he has slept with so many men. When his own judgment will come, it will come from God and we suffer. He will suffer and die. Ah, that is Yabo Ojo. We suffer and die. Watch him now. From here is uh, from here to uh, Abuja. Where's he going at Abuja? What business does he have Abuja? He's selling Toto. Toto loan Takaki. Because uh, Baba Jesha did not settle him and the other woman very well. That's why they use that one to tarnish him. They don't tarnish him, man. Eh? God will surely tarnish that uh, Yabo Ojo. He will suffer. Watch it. Oh, but what she's fighting for is rights in my own case because he said she's fighting against child molest molestation. Oh, uh, if he doesn't do all those wrong things in the presence of that lady, the lady, the young girl. All right, guys, still on a half date. Um, Tony Badge, big brother of Niger, this reunion thing, you know, how she was saucy and all that. She made a video and then she was talking in that video that she does not care about people's perception about her. A behavior I had to during the reunion. She was like, she doesn't give a damn about what happened. She she did what she did, and that is it. And then, to me, I think she actually care about own doom because we all know that she came to the show to mess up. I mean, there was no 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 reason at all to do all that she did in that reunion. I mean, she was just to I don't understand nasty and all so in this video she was like she doesn't give a damn she did what she did and that is it and then she doesn't care what everybody thinks and i know that she cares because if she does not care she would not come up with this video that she's ranting that she doesn't care about what she did what she did okay because v she never disappoints she gave her no out out and then she put her in her place yes how did you feel about people's opinions about you during the reunion? The question is, do I care? If I was quiet in the reunion, they would still drag me. I decided to show them small cardi beatings. Everybody was shook. Internet only contained it. Everybody was buying Ah, too bad, this, too bad, that. But I don't care. Um, our last update is coming from Babriski, mommy of Lagos. That's what she or he. Okay, she. That's what she called herself. She's the mommy of Lagos. She, you know, she displays her beautiful pictures of her post-surgery body 
pictures and videos, you know, she has been making a real lot of noise about this body of hers that she has gone to, you know, do some lipo and then she's so proud that uh, she has so she has been like talking about this body she wants to unveil she finally unveiled like she promised and then she made a video and some beautiful pictures even though some people have been criticizing this particular picture that it's an edited picture that i mean the body is not who no cares one thing about publicity is he likes to you know he likes to I don't know how to, 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 to put it. He, he, extra mile to to make people think that okay, this is what he is. Sometimes it goes to just way too much to I mean to do some other things that is not even necessary. Like oh, you are a man for crying out loud. Why is I trying so hard to I don't know. Alright guys, see you around. Have a good weekend, guys. Be wrong.